What about Thiago? Paul, I want to get your take first and then Dirk as well. If you want to jump in at any point, feel free. Is he a myth? There's a lot being said about his record at Liverpool. It, it's not great. But the flip side is maybe he's being let down by the players around him. Maybe they're not making the right runs. Maybe sometimes a player doesn't suit a team. We had Didi Haman on a few weeks ago and he was uh, critiquing Thiago, saying he's slowing down the play, that the Liverpool front three need to be released faster. Could that be resolved? Is it an issue to think about? What do you make of it? I think, obviously, it's a slight issue if you look at the stats, but, you know, me, my personal opinion, I think Thiago's just a, a wonderful footballer. Um, you know, I was actually quite disappointed when Liverpool signed him in the summer because I would have loved to have seen him in Manchester City um, with Pep Guardiola. But I think that just touching a little bit on what, what Dirk said but with Thiago in there as well, I think possibly missing um, Jordan Henderson in there with his energy in and around him. You know, Thiago, but when you think of Liverpool the last couple of years, um, the, pr the high press that they do, um, they don't leave any space in the middle of the midfield, they're high energy in there. And Thiago is a player that wants to get in the ball and slow the game down. And maybe not necessarily having the energy of a Henderson in there or the stability of a Fabinho to allow him to go and get on the ball and go and play is slightly hindering him a little bit. And, you know, it's, it's hard to disagree with what Duck said before we went on to Thiago. You know, when you're missing players like Van Dijk and Gomez, um, with the speed they've got, it allows Liverpool to play much higher up the pitch. Um, because very rarely in the last couple of seasons have you seen people um, hitting the ball over the top and, and Liverpool being caught out. And I think they're defending, I mean, you might know better, Dirk, I think they're defending slightly deeper because they've not got the pace there, which isn't sure. allowing Thiago to get further up the pitch um, where he can play the little balls um, in between the thirds, in between the centre halves, little balls down the side. You know, he's, he's tending to get the ball a little bit deeper and trying to hit 30, 40 yard passes rather than the incisive passes that we've seen him do when he was at Bayern Munich. Yeah, true. And and what I, what I like to add about Thiago is that um, I agree with Paul that we're missing Henderson in the midfield. Um, Klopp need him at the moment at, uh, at the defending position. But when Thiago uh, changed um, a position with, uh, with Wijnaldum, especially in the Spurs game and also the West Ham game, uh, you see he was feeling much more comfortable. Uh, and it was also difficult for Thiago to play in the Henderson position because... Like Paul said, the defenders were dropping off deeper because um, they were a little a bit afraid of the space behind the, behind them. But also our fullbacks, you know, they like to attack, so they had to defend a very big space. And also Thiago, if you if you watch the clips, uh, is is uh, he had to, to defend in, in in a lot of big spaces. And this is not his speciality. He he, lo he loves to touch the ball. Maybe he takes um, uh, a touch more than probably Henderson. But if you see his passes, if you see his quality, um, I'm I'm convinced uh, he will do better and better in the future, and especially when the when the squad is, uh, you know, um, uh, full and, and and not uh, uh, full of injuries.